channel. Today's video is going to be different. Um, I'm going to be bringing some new content to this channel because I'm kind of on like a new like health journey, working out, eating better. So I was like, let me do a grocery haul. I literally just walked in. I was about to put everything away and I was like, oh, like I could add this on my channel. So let's talk about what we got. So I went to Walmart and I went to Trader Joe's to, I don't have an exact, ooh, let me move this up so you guys can see better. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's better. So I um got, what was I saying? Oh, I don't have a specific meal plan, like a whole bunch of recipes that I was shopping for. I just kind of have been looking at kind of what some other people have been eating um, as far as like people that I follow on YouTube and like Instagram and stuff, different meal plans or different meals that they post. Um, and then just kind of brought some stuff to do some of that and then just some regular items as well. So the first thing that I have is a lime. I got some shrimp as well, the frozen shrimp. A lean cuisine because I just like to keep um, like two or three of these in my freezer. This is just a really quick lunch. Um, and these do have like sodium in them, but it's only 250 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, and it has, ooh, it has 23 grams of protein, which is a lot. Um, and I'm going to be eating a lot more protein because I'm trying to grow the booty. So that's what you need is protein. So I got some lemon um, as well some fresh spinach so I'll use this for salads and for wraps um, as well I'm trying out this um, wild caught pink salmon in the bag if y'all have ever tried this comment down below and let me know how it tastes um, and how you eat it like if you put yours with like crackers or do you mix it up like tuna and put it on bread or you just put it on top of a salad like how do you do it if you've had this comment down below and then I got some basmati rice so I guess I'm trying to get rid of like white rice um because white rice is of course the worst one that you can eat out of all the rices so people talk about jasmine and talk about basmati so I'm gonna try this one out this is the uh organic california wild basmati rice and then I just got another Zatarain's black bean and rice because I love this and I used my last one yesterday. Um, I also got some tuna. Um, tuna has a lot of protein in it and I see a lot of people who um, are kind of like, you know, girls that I'm talking about, like um, Aaliyah's face, if y'all watch her. Um, oh my God, there's so many other people, like fitness people. Aaliyah is not really like a fitness person, but she does bring us along her health journey and she vlogs, so she always vlogs her food and stuff. And she eats this um tuna with um like squeezes lemon on it and puts like I think a little salt and pepper and then eats it with a rice cake um and she said it makes her you know pretty full so yeah this has 26 grams of protein in the can so I'll definitely be eating more tuna I also got a small jasmine rice as well this is the ready rice this is the one that goes in the microwave the uncle ben's one and then i got two salad dressings by skinny girl so the skinny girl dressings are fat free and sugar free so i got the balsamic vinaigrette and then the honey dijon so these will be good for um salads and then for wraps as well when i make a wrap with like chicken or turkey i normally put some kind of dressing on it um and then i got some salsa verde so this is going to be for a breakfast wrap um, then I'll do with like a whole wheat tortilla, um, a scrambled egg, probably a little sprinkle of cheese, and then this salsa verde. Um, I do not eat tomatoes or anything with tomatoes. It's a migraine trigger for me. So I want to try out the salsa verde and see how that does. Hopefully it's good and I don't get a headache. So um, this is the, or these are the whole wheat tortillas that I get um, right in the bread aisle. I've had these before. I used to eat these like when I was dieting um, like some years ago. So yeah, these are good. Um, I also got just some regular chicken breast. Always need this. I'm pretty much gonna be doing chicken, salmon, shrimp, um, and other kinds of fish. So I don't have any other kinds right now, but probably get some mahi-mahi, maybe some cod. Um, so I'm gonna be staying away from pork. Um, I still love pork. I still eat pork, but I'm going to try to not eat it. Like normally I buy pork chops, keep those in my freezer. I won't be doing that. Um, so if I eat pork, it'll be when I'm out. Um, I'll probably get some kind of ground meat. I don't have any right now. Um, I do not like turkey, so I will not be buying any ground turkey or like 
turkey burgers because I don't like I don't like turkey so um except if it's like deli like deli meat turkey so um like this the deli fresh turkey this is what I use for um when I make my little turkey wraps but other than that I don't fuck with turkey so what else do we have these are the rice cakes that I got just the lightly salted ones that I'm going to eat with the tuna and then I got some mushrooms as well. I made um, this little stir fry like two times. Um, so I did it with white rice, but I will do it with this basmati rice next time I make it. I did shrimp, but you could also do chicken. Um, I put in bell peppers, so colored peppers. I had like four colored bell peppers. And then I put onions as well. And then the teriyaki sauce. And I thought some mushrooms would be good. Throw mushrooms in too. And I like these on my salad as well. And then I've got this bread. I cannot remember her name, but I watched a fitness video and she was talking about her meal plans and she recommended the Dave's bread. And I didn't think I was going to be able to find it, but they had it at Walmart. So I went ahead and got it. It's organic bread, 100% whole wheat. This bag was $5, so it should better be good. Okay, um, I don't like a lot of grains, so I didn't want like a grainy bread. So I was like, okay, whole wheat. Looks like it has a few grains here, but it's just like regular wheat. So I should be good with that. I'm going to make um, avocado toast with this. So I'm going to do like the bread and then avocado, some little seasonings, and then put um, like one or two eggs on top or maybe one egg and then I'll have two pieces of um, bread. That'll be like a good filling meal. So of course I got eggs and then here are my avocados. And then I also got some frozen veggies. So the broccoli florets. These are the steamer bags. I love the steamer bags because literally you just put it in the microwave for five minutes and then it's done. So super quick, super quick. So broccoli florets. I got a French style green beans as well. And then I got cauliflower rice. I'm really excited because I've never had it before and people always talk about it. So this will be um, like to take the place of my starch. So if I'm not eating like this basmati rice or the jasmine rice or something, I'm gonna try to stay away from pastas. Um, I will probably eat some potatoes, but it won't be like a baked potato. I'll probably um, like dice it up, um, maybe put a few seasonings on it and then eat it like that. Or um, do like a baked, ooh, a baked sweet potato with just maybe like a drizzle of honey or something. Um, but yeah, I was excited to try this out. If you guys eat cauliflower rice, um, let me know down below, like, do you like add seasonings to it or do you add, like, how do you eat yours? Do you just eat it as a side dish or like, do you put different things in it? So let me know about that. And then I also got some oatmeal. This is a staple for me. Um, this has four grams of protein, two grams of fat. It's 160 calories. Um, probably not the best thing, um, to eat, but this is like a go-to for me, like, Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm hungry, but like, I just don't feel like eating like breakfast food. Like I don't want eggs and grits and all that. So I can always eat oatmeal. So I got this. Normally I add butter, cream and sugar to it. Um, so I'm going to try to not do that and just eat it plain, but I'm not going to be like really crazy restrictive like some people will like stop eating dairy like they won't eat cheese they won't eat sour cream they won't eat butter like they no longer put salt on things like i'm not fat okay so and i don't even mean that like in that kind of way i'm just saying that i'm not really trying to like lose weight i'm trying almost kind of trying to bulk honestly and redistribute the weight that i have so a uh, bigger butt flatter stomach but I'm not trying to be like, okay, I weigh, I weigh like 145 ish. So it's not like I'm trying to go from like 145 to like 125. Like I'm not trying to lose 20 pounds. I'm just trying, I might even end up gaining weight. I may end up being like 150, 155, which is cool with me. I just want my, I know how I want my body to look. So I'm really focused on measurements and like the way I look versus my actual weight. So I would actually consider what I'm doing right now to be bulking. Um, that is what I've learned as I've watched videos. So yeah, um, so all that to say that I'm not gonna be like super strict, like I will probably still eat a little bit of cheese, a little bit of butter, like I'm still gonna put salt on my food. So um, yeah, so just saying, I'm just sharing with you guys what I got and I'm gonna show y'all some of the meals I'm gonna be making too. So this whole bag is from Trader Joe's. So. I got some veggie chips. I like uh, chips to go with my wraps or if I have like a sandwich, um, like maybe the whole wheat bread with maybe some turkey, lettuce, 
I don't know, whatever I decide to put on the sandwich, but I like to have some chips to go with it. So I heard these were good. So I'm gonna try those out. I got some um, organic rainbow cauliflower. This is a nice side dish. If I just make some chicken and like maybe some kind of rice and then have this on the side. I got almond butter as well. This will be my first time trying almond butter, so hopefully it's good. I really got this for my smoothies, so I'm gonna be doing um, like protein smoothies. So after I work out um, in the morning, I purchased, let me show you guys. I purchased some protein powder. Um, I watched several YouTube videos on the best protein powder to get. Um, and when I watched this one, I was like, wow, I think I would really like that. So it is, uh, it's organic and it's plant-based. So this is not your regular like whey protein. This is a plant-based one, which I like because this is how you're going to get all your greens. Um, so you don't have to eat so much kale, so much spinach, so much of lettuce and all that stuff. Like it's, it's in here. So I love that. So for my smoothies, I'm going to do just my assortment of fruits um, that I'm going to show you guys. Protein powder, almond butter, and either water or almond milk uh, for my liquid. So yeah, um, that should be really good. So I'm going to show you guys all of my fruits. So I just got, all my fruits are from Trader Joe's. These are the frozen fruits. So we have pineapple tidbits here. I pretty much got one of each thing that they had. So pineapple, I got the strawberries. These are blueberries, raspberries, mango, and peaches. I forgot to get a banana. I forgot to get a banana. Uh, Cause the smoothie that I'm gonna be making um, first is gonna be strawberry, banana, almond butter, the protein powder and water. Um, that is a smoothie that I saw um, by someone who was talking about how to grow the glutes, you know, and she said that her trainer recommended that smoothie and that it really, really helped. I mean, that's the exact protein powder that she used. Um, she said she started seeing results in like a week. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So I gotta go get a banana, but um, yeah, this is also some vegetable fried rice. And then I got some fish as well. So some tilapia, this has two fillets in it and this has two fillets of salmon. So I got that. And then the last thing is gonna be this uh, shrimp seafood burger. I have never had this before. Um, it has 13 grams of protein, four grams of fat, and it's only 90 calories. Um, so this, of course, you can eat it like a burger on a bun, but you can also just eat it kind of like a salad. So like you can make your, um, I'll probably do spinach and then mushrooms. I don't know, um, whatever kind of vegetables and stuff I wanna put on my salad and then I could sit this right on top. Um, if I could also do this on a slice of the whole wheat bread um, or just have a slice of whole wheat bread on the side so it's a little more filling. Um, but yeah, it looks really good on the pack. And when I was in the store, the lady next to me um, was saying that she loves these, um, that they're really good. So I was like, okay, well, I'll try it out. So yeah, I think, let me make sure of everything. Yeah, that's everything that I got. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of this grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are on a health kick or even if you're dieting or even if you just have good like healthy recipes, please comment down below. If you have a YouTube channel where you talk about fitness and like meals, healthy meals and stuff, please put that down below as well. I would love to check out your channel and find out some more um, recipes and like I'm always looking for new like workouts and stuff to do. So also if you guys watch anybody, link them down below too, sis. So yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today's haul. Um, if you guys wanna see anything else related to like my new health journey, fitness um, stuff, please let me know um, down below. I am gonna do kind of probably like a monthly update. Um, I am gonna try to track my progress with pictures. I'm really trying to be serious this time around. Um, I have, of course, at the beginning of every year, I'm always like, I'm gonna start working out, I'm gonna start working out, blah, 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 but like, you know, I'll do it for like a few days and then be done. So I'm really trying to stick to it this time and like really, really like elevate my life and myself, my body. So yeah, I'm excited you guys. So yeah, comment all that stuff down below. If you have anything that can help me out, give the video a thumbs up and a crochet braid video next week. So stay tuned guys. See you in the next one. Bye.